after this video comes to you in five parts. Part one. I would just like to point out that me being wrong in that discussion thing we had was actually a good thing for me. Just, just to clear that up because I don't like being wrong, and so I just thought I'd tell everybody that. Part two. With the truly you'll think I was thinking it more as a hypothetical idea. And um, by this I was like hoping that it would encourage you to think to anybody to think about the possibility of could there be someone truly evil and hopefully what the consequences of something like that would be. In reality I know that there is cause for everybody's actions, like no one suddenly decides they want to go kill people. There's a reason behind it. And I would like to go into more detail about this, but that would take an entirely different whole video for me to discuss part three. Do you know the reason why Nazi soldiers followed Hitler? Even though we could quite clearly see that it's wrong, the reason why they did it was for, I would assume, secondary socialisation, like like the education system and, and all that kind of stuff, they like told them that it was right, like they learned that it was right. And, and like the, those Nazi soldiers thought that because they, they learned that, that it was all right, that that was a good thing, that these people were evil and bad when they're not. And 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 then um, future generations, the ones you know, below them, if that makes sense, the younger people, and they had a secondary socialization for education and primary socialization for their um, families because they were saying that's right. You have to listen to that. You have to listen to him and believe that what he's saying is right. Part 4. Um, you said that the history is written by the victors, which it, it is, I guess, written by the victors. Um, but I beg to differ on the fact that if Hitler won, and obviously he would portray what he did was right, I would. I beg to differ. We, I don't think we um, now would reflect back on that and would think that it was right. I think we would know that it was wrong. We would take it for what it truly is. One of humanity's darkest hours. Um, it was appalling what happened in World War Two. It is, and I don't think that we would ever see it as right. Even I don't think I would like. I would love to think that even if that was um the British government had done that, or an American government, or whatever. More so British because. I obviously identify with that kind of thing because that is my government if you get what I mean. I would like to think that if they had done that I would still think that it is completely wrong even if they won I would love to I love to I would love to think that I would still think that it is completely and utterly wrong and all that kind of stuff. Okay, I said there would only be four there would only be five parts, didn't I? Or did I say it was four? Either way, four point five. Part 4 point that I guess. I have thought of your punishment and I think I know what it's going to be. Um, I think um, I will make your punishment the cinnamon challenge where you eat like a tablespoon or a teaspoon of cinnamon and it'll be fun because it is fun. Um, and finally part 5. Um, I think we I may have found us a co-conspirator um, for our blog and I will tell you more about that when I have details about it if they want to join, see you and see you TBA.